Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102 In today's quick video, I will show you how to filter your traffic using Unbound DNS uh, As you know, um, some of you are already familiar with the PF blocker on PF scenes. This is one of the alternate solutions PF blocker is um, so specifically made for PF scene only, so it's not available on up scenes. Uh, so this is something it equivalent of uh, PF blocker. It's absolutely not the same. It's not uh, as customizable as PF blocker, but it is another alternate way. In the next video, I'll show you another uh, alternate uh, for PF blocker, which is more uh, customizable. All right, so uh, from the lobby, we would uh, go to services and then uh, select uh, unbound DNS and it would be uh, under block list. So we're going to enable block list. All right, and uh, tab up uh, DNS BL. So here you have multiple lists. My uh, recommendation is that uh, enable a single one bef uh, instead of enable like all of them at once. The reason being it that if you enable all of it at the same time, you don't know what break your internet. To enable multiple, you know, ad blocker, sometimes it actually disable a lot of services at home. Uh, for example, I enable multiple of it and when I go to uh, YouTube um, I cannot see any uh, comments on the YouTube uh, because it will block out by one of the uh, block lists so with that being said uh, the one I recommended and I use this uh, on my PF scene as well it, uh, the Steven blacklist it seemed to work the best uh, you can try out but like I say start with a single one making sure that you know nothing breaking and then you can start enable another one enable multiple it, it difficult to troubleshoot and see which one causing the issue so I'm gonna select Steven blacklist and I'm gonna hit apply all right and with that uh, we need to add uh, to get the updated uh, list for the DNSBL, we're going to head over to system and it should be under setting I believe, yep, settings and then cron, we're going to add a new one and the command is going to be update unbound DNSBLs and we're going to call it update DNSBL. All right, and that will update. Uh, the system will automatically update the blacklist for you. And you go to the reporting and under unbound DNS. Normally, it uh, it not enable by default, so you have to uh, enable the local gathering of uh, statistic. So after you enable that, you should be able to see it under Unbound DNS. And you're going to see what the domain, top pass domain and the top block domain. And it pretty simple way. Uh, Steven Blacklist work for a majority of the, uh, it block majority of the ass, annoying ass. Uh, but definitely not blocking like YouTube ads stuff like that and unbound DNS uh, block list it's just a simple way uh, to do it you have uh, other solutions which I'm going to go over in the future video and if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video goodbye